So now y'all come into my kitchen. This is cooking today. Hi, welcome to cooking today. It is springtime and I am making today one of my favorite little recipes for spring. Last year this season, um, about this time of year, I made coconut tres leches cake because just April and the season and the birds and Easter and all of that just makes me bust out the coconut. It's my favorite. I've ranked all my flavor profiles here for y'all before, but it's like lemon, coconut, and strawberry at my top three. And today we're going to make easy coconut cupcakes. This is really fun for Easter. It's really fun for classroom parties, for treats. Um, it's fun to make with your kids. Um, gosh, you don't even need kids. I don't even have little kids and I still love to make these. Um, fun little bird's nest coconut cupcakes. Sweet little kind of amped up delicious vanilla cupcakes with a delicious coconut uh, cream cheese frosting on the top. And then we make these little nests out of tinted coconut and candies, these little guys, which are super hard not to be snacking on right now. I actually hid them from the cameraman. They didn't even know till just this second that they were over here. Those little chocolate candies that look like baby eggs. I could eat that whole bowl right there, but they become our cute little decorations on top of our cupcakes. And the cupcakes are easy. I have done something similar to this before. Of course, we've made homemade cupcakes on occasion around here, but this is a really fun little shortcut one because we're gonna make homemade frosting plus all of our little decoratives on the top. So this is a great little shortcut because it's just pre-measured for you. So what we have was just one white cake mix and then one three ounce package of white chocolate pudding. Just kind of adds a neat little texture to our cupcakes. Makes them really, really moist. So just the two dry mixes. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of flour, a couple tablespoons. Well, I can get that last little bit out. There we go. And then I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt, always. Salt just kinda helps bring out the sweet, you know? Now, I have just got these incorporating in um, on lows just to kinda mix up our dry. And it also helps remove some of the clumps that kind of naturally come in like a cake mix. Sometimes comes in a cake mix anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna add in a half a cup of milk. I like to use whole milk. And then a half a cup of oil, vegetable oil. I use canola, you can use whatever. Something that's just kind of light tasting. And then, we're gonna add in a cup of water. So half a cup of milk, half a cup of oil, cup of water. Isn't this so simple? Can't you see doing this with like your kids or your grandbabies or somebody like that? Your husband, <laughs> get him in here and say, okay, dump it in. <laughs> Sam loves to be in the kitchen with me. I say that. Maybe he doesn't. I think he does. We have fun in the kitchen. Okay. So we've added our liquids. I'm going to let that, I'm just kind of watching to make sure that stir, you know, stirs in real well. Then I have four egg whites of four large eggs. So we've separated those in the shells. And we're going to plop those in. Oh, it just smells so sweet and good. And then I, I, always, I always say this in defense of coconut because I know there are some people who have a strong aversion to it. It's really just very sweet. It's, it's almost like it's just a sweeter version of vanilla. So to this, I'm adding a teaspoon of coconut. Oh my goodness, y'all, it is just so good. It's so, so good. So a whole teaspoon of coconut extract. And it just barely, barely, it's so faint, so faintly coconut. Just extra, extra sweet. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this up. We're gonna let that beat for just about a minute or so just till it kind of like gets a good air inside of our batter. We have our oven set to 350 
We're waiting for that to get nice and preheated. And this cupcake recipe makes 20, should make 24 or more. Um, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, but you're definitely gonna need to have either two muffin pans, 12 each, or you're gonna need to do these in waves, like bake these in waves. They're awful good, oh my goodness. Okay, that looks good to me. And it's so pretty and white because we didn't put in the yolks. And so when you have that white cake mix, and then you just do the whites, look how pretty and white our batter is. Isn't that nice? It's not dark yellow like a lot of cake mixes are. Okay, when we come back, I'm gonna show you the trick to um, filling up our muffin cups, and then we're gonna start working on all of our fun stuff like our good frosting, which we love. This is cooking today. Hi, welcome back to Cooking Today. It's springtime today, and we are making one of my favorite springtime treats, and they are bird's nest cupcakes. They're sweet, sweet little vanilla with coconutty cupcakes. I said coconutty because I really want y'all to make them, so I'm trying to make you think they're not very coconut. They're so good. Coconut people, unite. You're gonna love this so much. We're making sweet little cupcakes that have a coconut nest on top and some little candied eggs on top that are just so cute. As a matter of fact, I was telling somebody the other day that I was gonna make these um, coming up, and she said, oh my goodness, my mom used to make those growing up, and I just loved them. I still love them, and this is a grown woman, and I, it just reminded me of the importance of food traditions and, and holiday traditions and you know, just those recipes that maybe you just make them that one time a year, but they become so special and they don't even have to be fancy. They just have to be made with love and your family is gonna remember that and they're gonna remember you by that one day. Um, I, just, I just think that is so special. So this is one of those fun recipes that we make in the springtime. This is my white cake mix, my pudding. The eggs, the vanilla, or the coconut flavoring, milk, and all the good stuff that we just added to it. Now, I always just take my little bowl scraper and go just to the bottom of my bowl to be absolutely certain that there's not anything dry underneath there that did not get mixed. <laughs> I didn't like it. I was pretending. And then it gives you something else to kind of, you know, snack on. It's delicious. Okay. Now... How I have done my pan, we're just gonna make 12 of these today. Recipe makes 24, we're just gonna do 12. Is I have my metal pan, my oven is preheated to 350, and what I like to do, we've talked about this before, is I like to double my cup, my little liners. Um, so instead of just pulling one out, you know, I kind of file through them like a, like a deck of cards. I do the one, and then I do the second one on it, or like so they're tucked perfectly inside, and I layer them like this. The reason is because cakes and cupcakes and all of that have oil in them, and they're gonna naturally saturate the inner cupcake, cupcake liner, the one that's touching the cake. So if you want an if you really want to see the decorative cup, like let's say you got a cute little checked one or floral or something like that. You really want to have the second one on the outside because the first one absorbs. The second one is the cute one. Does that make sense? So that's what I do a lot. Now, we have this mix. We added four eggs, which is a lot of leavener. And so, believe me when I tell you, you want to fill your muffin cups half or less full. I know it feels like there's no way that maybe you've underfilled you have it. These really have a lot of loft. And so I fill them at half or just below. You're going to, you know, a lot of times you'll do like, um, oh, I don't know, like maybe a blueberry muffin recipe or something, and it'll say to fill it two-thirds full. Because a muffin, you actually want a muffin top. You want it to poof up and get nice and tall and moundy on the top. But these, we want these to be more flat. So we want them to bake 
just to the top of the muffin cup because what we want on top is frosting, flavored coconut, tinted coconut, and then the chocolate candies. Does that make sense? So resist the urge to overfill. And the truth is you will fill, or you, you're likely going to fill 24 cups, 24 muffin cups, and you're probably going to have a little bit of batter left over. So if you want to go again, go again. Fill as many of these as you can. You might get three more out, but you really just want to fill them about halfway or less, okay? We are almost finished. And then they don't bake very long, so you really kind of need to be watching them. And they don't turn, because this is a white cake, they don't turn golden brown. You know, a lot of times the sign for looking for whether a cake or something is finished is you want it to be nice and golden brown on the top. These actually stay pretty, pretty white, which is what I love about them so much. Okay, here we go. So we're almost done. Again, I'm resisting the urge to go back and fill in the ones that look low because I know from experience that they're going to rise and we want them flush. Now here's my little trick for them. I give them a little shimmy always and then I kind of drop them down a little bit so that it kind of settles and gets a little even in there and then we're just going to stick them in the oven, okay? Now it's very important to know that before you get ready to make your frosting you need to have room temperature butter and room temperature cream cheese. They need to be sitting out, they need to be as room temperature as room temperature can be because you want it really nice and smooth. So we've got that going over here. When we come back, we're going to start on our delicious, rich frosting for our cupcakes. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome back. We are making springtime bird's nest cupcakes today. They're a fun little Eastery springtime tradition I really love. They are easy and they're so good and sweet and fun, y'all. We have our cupcakes in the oven baking. They just have a couple more minutes left on them. Um, we're only making 12 today, but the recipe actually makes 24. Um, so you've got plenty to eat and to share. Wouldn't they be so fun to show up with like just two or three for your neighbors? Like just a little fun, fun treat. Okay, here's what we've got. We're making our frosting now. And what we have, you can, you can do two things here. You can make a complete buttercream, which is all butter. You would want a cup of butter, softened butter. Or you can do more of a cream cheese frosting, which actually has butter and cream cheese. And I'm doing the butter and the cream cheese. I just love that little something else and that creaminess that the cream cheese gives to it. It's got that little bit of like a whang in it, and I love that. So I've done one stick of unsalted butter, and then uh, which is a half a cup, and then a half a cup of cream cheese. You just want to have one cup of whatever it is, all butter or part butter and part cream cheese. Does that make sense? So we have got, I don't think I've tightened in here. Let me get tightened in here before we start whipping that up. There we go. Okay. So we're putting that in. I'm doing a pinch of salt. And we want this to be pretty light. You want this to be nice and light. And a lot of times when you're making your frosting, you do have to take a little time to kind of scrape down the sides. That's part of it. So I've kind of incorporated my butter and my cream, my cream cheese right there. And then I am gonna get my Oh, they're my cupcakes. I better get those out while I was looking for my bowl scraper. Here. I'm going to have Kyle grab our timer. And then I'm going to check our cupcakes. Remember I said they just need to be nice and white. But you know what? I think I'm going to give them one more minute. So I'm just going to remember. I'll just have to remember to um, check them. Good luck with that, right? Like I have other things going on. I might just forget. So everybody might need to give me the on our cupcakes. So I'm taking my spurtle and I'm just going to kind of sp scrape those sides down and then to this, now that I've got my two main, you know, ingredients 
combined, I'm going to add a tablespoon of milk. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Yum. I always love vanilla so, so much. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of coconut extract. Again, it just actually makes it sweet, sweet, sweet. And what's so nice about the coconut extract is that it's clear, unlike the vanilla extract, which is brown. And then that way our, our frosting stays nice and light in color. doesn't get too dark or creamy. So we're going to have those set right there. And then all we have to do is let that have a good little stir. And then we're going to start adding in, about a cup at a time, our powdered sugar. I'm going to check these guys. Yeah, they look really good. They've just started to get a little bit of color. Oh, but look how pretty and white. And see how nice and level they are? They didn't go up and over. You know, sometimes they'll go up and over, and then they bake kind of like that little muffin top kind of bakes down on the pan. We don't want that. Mmm. They smell fantastic. Okay, I'm doing that. It's letting those cool. And then, cup at a time. We're going to add our confectioner's sugar. And I know some people like to do it with the mixer on. I just feel like that is just asking for trouble. So I like to keep my mixer off and incorporate one cup at a time, and then another cup, and then another cup. Usually going up to about four cups all together. OK, so while this is incorporating, let me show you this. This is easy, easy. We want to color our coconut, OK? So what I'm going to do is I've got four drops, three or four drops of green food coloring that I have just put in this little plastic um, bowl. And then I just want to splash it with a little bit of water. And then I don't want to use my wood because it would probably dye my wood color, wouldn't it? My little measuring spoon would be green from now on. And I am just stirring this. And then all we're going to do is put two cups of coconut in a plastic bag and pour that on it and massage it in to color our coconut. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, there was my one cup. We're going to keep adding our cups of powdered sugar and mixing so that we get the right consistency. And the more that you add, like right now, it's a little yellow, but the more powdered sugar that you add, the more white it's going to get, and it's just really pretty. Okay, we're going to stir in this second cup. We're going to add our third cup, then we're going to add our fourth cup and whip it till it's just beautiful and spreadable. If it's a little thick and it's not going to spread well, we'll do a little bit of milk, and that's it. Okay, when we come back, we're going to have our cupcakes. We're going to doctor them all up and make them cute and build them and make them so sweet. This is cooking today. Hi, welcome back. We're just finishing up these really fun little cupcakes. Aren't they cute? Look how fun. So let me tell you how we've gotten here, and then we'll, I'll show you how to decorate them. So I did the two cups of coconut in a bag, and we did a couple of drops of food coloring with some water and then poured it over the cup, uh, the coconut. And then all you have to do is massage the bag around a little bit, get the air out. And then just massage it around, massage it around until it colors the coconut the color that you want it and everything, you know, kind of gets nice and saturated. Okay, so you'd work on that for a few minutes. And then you want to kind of let it dry out a little bit so you can put it in a bowl and let it kind of air dry so that it's not wet with green food coloring when you're going to try to pick it up and decorate your cupcakes. So here is the bowl that I've already done and I've already let it kind of dry out so my fingers aren't green. So then all you have to do is take a little bit of frosting and I like to plop it right on the top and y'all these are homemade. You don't have to feel like you got to be on Pinterest or do piping bags or anything like that. This is old fashioned, remember? Easy, easy. And I just take it from the center and kind of press it outward. And the truth is, this little layer of frosting only really serves to hold on to our coconut. So it doesn't have to be 
pretty or tall or anything like that. Okay? And then we have our coconut. And what I like to do is take a little pinch and hold the cupcake over the coconut bowl so that if any falls off, it goes right back in our bowl. And press it down. And then last but not least, a couple of cute little eggs. That's it. Isn't that so fun? They are sweet. They're a holiday tradition. They're a springtime tradition. Just whatever. They are a lot of fun, these little bird's nest cupcakes. Hope you'll try them at home and share a few. Makes plenty. Love every bite. This is Cooking Today.